Knowledge spread across four weeks. Their Honda Fan Cup is going to end after this game. Well, it's the same start from the last time they played on this map. Bound gets back down. Stellar gets the camo, but he doesn't pop it. Bound was trusting that Stellar is going to pop that camouflage right away and try to catch him in the animation. That was not going to happen. Stellar one step ahead, using his piece as a bait on the board and capturing. Bound. Once again, a 2-0 start. Stellar is playing phenomenal in this Grand Finals. You know, I was over here sitting that, here thinking that that spot was really good for Bound, then somehow Stellar finds him immediately. Easy 2-0 lead. Bound gets the first few shots. That's gonna force Stellar to back down over toward the gold side and, and now has height. Has a shock rifle, love that nade by him to deny access, but Bound somehow is still doing damage and now grinding forward. Stellar grapples wide across the map, but Bound looks to cut him off. He is not allowing Stellar to escape that easily. Oh, it's just too easy for Stellar. The perfect pre-aim. The lead continues to grow. Bound's chances slipping away in this game he needs to find a way to take down stellar while he has that shock rifle in hand a tall task for bound because stellar has been just pinpoint accurate today camouflage coming up in just 23 seconds here stellar white back over to where the gold side of the map where he's so comfortable it's the gold side or this tower side is where he loves having that shock rifle and with the grapple and active camouflage coming up I think Stellar really has the advantage here. Bound over toward that tower side. Not a bad position, but this next fight going to be important. Stellar already with a three-kill lead. Stellar's lurking. He's listening, right? Using this camouflage as bait. He hears Bound go a step too far. He's got him, but Bound's going to run right into the reticle. The commando puts him out of the scope right away. Now he's gonna try to grapple. It's plan B. Get the camouflage, get the grapple, get away. Just able to get around the corner of Stellar. Oh no! Reverse Around the corner and now he stalks his prey. Bound back to the respawn screen. It was a trap all along. Stellar is just so good at target prioritization, like whether prioritizing going for the kill, prioritizing getting that health damage to force your opponent to back down or keeping your eye on the prize and being able to grab a hold of an active camouflage. He's so good at target prioritization and that's the larger reason why he has a 4-0 lead at the moment bound all the way across the map right now. Back to Stellar's game plan, wide angles, force you across the map get himself some easy shots when he has the lead we talk about it time and time again he it is almost impossible to steal it from him with this gameplay patience and allowing and, and forcing you to make a mistake and making you pay from it i'm playing aggressive he knows that time is going to be an important factor in this game but stellar He's just gonna play run away and well bound he doesn't have a grapple, but he's got a repulse and he can make a move fast Stellar gets around the corner just in time But he's not safe yet, but it's a no. miss jump. Oh, no, it would have been a perfect position for bound But now it's Stellar who has the advantage mistakes are dearly costly Oh, no Howdy. Highly unfortunate for Bound right there. Like you said, he had a perfect cutoff with that angle and just as simple as, as a missed jump, a missed clamber. Is a missed opportunity for Bound to put a kill on the board and Stellar just taking advantage of it, able to not only get the kill, but get the camouflage as well, forcing Bound to back down immediately right back into his face and hits that final shot here. A 6-0 lead coming out of Stellar. This is getting tough to watch. Bound needs to know. He saw that the respawn was up for the shock rifle. He knows that there's no shock rifle in the hands of Stellar for the next 30 seconds. This is his chance to get the kill. He's got it. Now it's about getting position. Get the next shock rifle in your hands. He's getting right up to that bat ledge. He knows he's coming up soon. Stellar needs to win this fight if he wants to keep this lead up. Oh, Bound's playing a dangerous game here, Tony. He's not going to wait for that shock rifle. He doesn't think Stellar thinks he's going to do this either. He goes back, left, right, doesn't matter. 
bound. He slingshot. He left it right. Oh, no. wow. Well, that's a devastating one uh, for, for two reasons, right, Tony? It's not only do you go down in the leaderboard by six, but you've given the shock rifle back to the Stellar. Bound could have played a safer game, right? Not being that aggressive. There's plenty of time still left on the clock. Get the shock rifle and then make your play. Instead, he tries to get too greedy. He gives the shock rifle back to Stellar. You have to feel as if this game is getting away from him. Yeah, I, mean, I think I'm agreeing with you on, on, on all accounts, except I just got to kind of know your opponent. And, and I, I, I always talk about staying within that mid. My gosh, the pancake. Beautifully played by Stella. And you got to you gotta realize that you got to stay within a minute per kill. And it was getting dangerously close for it. And Bound knows that Stella, if, if it continued going that way, Stella's going to put him with the minute per kill. And he's never going to come back from it. So I think Bound said... It's high risk, high reward. He either got that kill, otherwise the game is over. And I know it seems early, but I mean, the clock was already starting to work against them. I talk about it time and time again, stay within a minute per kill. Once you're past that, especially against a player like Stellar, the game's practically over. He's just too good. Well, the game is over. Bound concedes. He's had enough. He says, Stellar, that's yours. It took him two best of threes only dropping one game in the entire